Hey guys, I'm Wilbert Finkelstein, and I'm here because I have become famous, well, viral, you know. I'm humble, so I don't like to use that term. But I've gone all over the interwebs because my famous video of this talking cat. Oh, oh, that video went viral back in 2011. <laughs> and since then, I've used all that money that I've made off this video to hire a documentation crew to film everything that's been going on in my life. Well, welcome to, uh, well, Casa de Mi. Um, this is, you know, my room. Excuse the mess, uh, you know the maid hasn't come in yet to clean it up. You all know how that goes, you know, being rich. But, you know, honestly, I didn't want to use all my money for a big, big house, you know. I'm a real humble person. I got a small, you know, moderate house in a good neighborhood. You know that I just live here by myself, you know, just to soak Dude. it in. Right peanut butter. I live in this wonderful house all by myself. And with my friend Jonah. It, it's it's more of a like a charity case thing. Why are you in your parents' bedroom? And and with my parents. Uh, I, I'll let them live here. My name's Jonah. Um, uh, before Wilbert became famous, uh, we were best friends. Now we're even more best friends. He's basically my slave. He does my laundry. He washes my dishes. He takes me on rides on my skateboard. One thing that goes along with being famous is, you know, I'm really fashion forward. I know all the great trends and I know where fashion is going. So along with that, I'm able to vision exactly what fashion is going to happen these days. What do you think, Jonah? Do I, do, I, do I look like a dad? Aren't you, aren't you going to say anything, Jonah? You know what the end thing is? Dads. Dad fashion is coming back. You know, because I'm such a fashion expert, I know it's coming back. And you know what attracts women more than anything? Single dads. I don't know what it is. Is it their bellies or their fashion? I don't know. But it had me thinking. Maybe I should be a single dad. Hey, Jonah. I think I want a child. I'm on it. J J get out of the fence. So I figured the best way to get the word out is pass out flyers to see if any of the neighborhood kids want to see if they're good enough to be my child. Jonah, I need you to take these and put these in all the mailboxes. I don't think that's legal. Jonah. 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 
Kona. Wow, you're you're already done. Yeah. Good job. So we waited there for like two hours just to see if any of the neighborhood kids showed up, and none of them did. It really had me wondering. Did Jonah really pass out all those flyers? Jonah, why has no one come yet? Somebody just came in. Okay, good. Jonah, what are you doing? I've always looked up to you. Almost like a father. Jonah, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Go dig a hole. Do I think of Jonah as a child? Absolutely. Do I think of Jonah as my child? Of course not. Why? For one reason. Does Jonah look anything like this? What were having dig a hole? I was up there for three hours digging it. But that's okay, because they did it out of love. Love and appreciation for Wilbert and everything that he has done for me. And cut. Same time tomorrow? Yeah, thank you for doing this. I don't want him to actually know that he's not famous. Uh, it'd devastate him. He wouldn't know what to do. He thinks he's famous because of that video, so. Just thank you for everything. Oh, wait. Just one more thing. Throughout all this, I've, uh... I've learned that it's good to have a friend. A friend that'll just do anything for you. A friend that'll love and appreciate everything that you, like, do. And just work his hardest to, to like, make sure that everything is going good for you, you know? Jonah! Come drag me on the skateboard! Uh... Just a minute, I'm almost done with my interview. Interview? Why are you in an interview? Get 3,000 views on YouTube and then you can maybe have an interview. Come on, come drag okay. me. Okay. 